Hello guys, welcome back to Withdraw Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix scrap game, joining server load freeze or forever error, error and how you can fix this up. So we have three solutions, so let's dive into it. First one over here on the crab game, you have to right click and go to manage and go over here uninstall option. You have to uninstall the game and see whether you are fixed with the issue. And if it's not fixing, then we have solution number two. Solution number two is all about you have to go over here on search, go to settings. From here, you just have to go over here on privacy and security. From here, you just have to navigate to Windows security. From here, you just have to scroll down and we have fire, virus and threat protection. Click on this. Now from here, scroll down and click on manage ransomware protection. From here, you have to click on allow and app through control folder access. Now go for yes. Now go for add an allowed app. Go for browse all apps. Now what you have to do is just have to go over here where the game is installed. For example, this PC. Steam over here, you have to find Steam on over here. On the program file, you just have to find Steam. Now from here, you have to find Steam app. Then go for common. From here, we have crap game. So you just have to select this and add the game. And as you can see, it is added. So now this is done. So this is what you have to do. Crap game is added. Now you just have to close this and you have to check whether you're done with the issue. And even if it's still not working, then we have to do the next one is you just have to go over here on the steam. Then you just have to right click, go to properties. Now go to local files, click on browse. Now from here, we'll be having an app. Sorry. Uh, you just have to follow the instruction once again, properties, local files, browse. So as you can see, it is already done. Now what you have to just have to select crab game data select this and there is a folder called boot you have to open this and as you can see there is an a uh, debugger as you can see this one right so you have to change this value so native debugger you have to change the value to one and you have to change the value to one then you just have to save the respective one you just have to close this before this also and open the game and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and you just have to open the game and as you can see it is working good and this is how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out